In this video, we'll talk about selection-based processing. First, let's select Step Sequencer region and bounce it to audio. Press U to loop this region and S to solo the track. Now right-click on audio and choose Selection-based processing. This feature allows you to quickly render effects to single or multiple regions and marquee selections. As you can see, the window is divided into two halves, column A and column B, of which only one can be active. This means you can have two effect chains. Compare them and apply the one you like. You can go to channel strip settings and choose one of the presets. Hold option key and drag compressor to the other slot. This way we have two identical plugins on channel A and B. Now I can choose different type of compressor, play with release and attack time and add some distortion. So this way we have two different settings and we can easily compare them. Now we can apply these settings to our audio region, or create a new take. New take allows you to use the quick swipe comping feature. This makes it easier to switch between processed and unprocessed versions, even to a point where you can dynamically comp between them. Right click on the region and choose flatten to merge these takes. Now let's open editor by pressing E and talk about marquee tool. You can select parts of region by holding command key. Let's apply selection-based processing to this part. Now I can choose different effects. For this example, we're going to use reverb and echo in section B. Now let's preview that and see what sounds better. And if we press apply, this effect will be used only on selected part of the region. Now let's close the window and listen to this region. Selection-based processing is a very useful feature and it opens up a world of experimental processing techniques.